Tell me what you know about the white buffalo calf woman. She was a female spirit that appeared to the people. She brought the sacred bundle and the seven sacred rites. When she came to the people, she appeared as a woman. But when she left, as she was walking away, she rolled to the ground and came up a white buffalo calf. One day the white buffalo calf will return to the people for all to see again. When this happens, it will be a sign that the beginning is near. Those who have not sought peace with Unji Maka and know not how to live with all of creation will perish. Yes, Lala. Watch day, Takusha. You have learned well. Are you all right? Are you all right? Has the wolf only appeared to grandfather? The wolf? As far as I know, it's only appeared to your grandfather. Your uncle Joseph hasn't said he's seen anything in the sweat lodge, and if he had, I think he would have said something. I don't understand why I'm having these recurring dreams. The wolf keeps beckoning me to follow him, but this time I saw Lala with him. You saw your grandfather with the wolf? What's wrong, Ina? Your grandfather is a very powerful man. A holy man, and he goes up on that hill to pray. And I, I worry that he's not going to come back. But it's not his time yet. It's not his time. What we need to focus on is you going to school. It's good that we hold on to our heritage and that we know who we are and where we come from. But you need to go to school and focus on that. I think you're having these dreams because you're going to be leaving the res and you're just, it's getting to you. Ever since you were a little girl, all you ever wanted to do was go up on that hill and see the visions. And Lala took me too. Yes, he took you. Those times were amazing. Yes. You gave me such trouble. At that time, only men were going into the sweat lodge. And you felt you had to go too, and I couldn't keep you out. You were so determined and defiant that if you couldn't go in with them, then you were going to build your own. I remember. Ina. Do you think I've inherited Lala's... I've always been afraid to admit, but you're different. You're different in a lot of ways. Ina. Okay, okay. I do think that the strength of these visions and your dreams are gonna get stronger, like your grandfather. But right now your focus needs to be your education and making your mark in this world as a strong, educated Indian woman. That's all I'm saying. Don't worry, Ina. That Wasichu College, they better watch out for you. <laughs> now I need you to get some sleep. Okay. Oh, 
Did that. Is this bed okay? Oh sure, that's fine. Thanks. I'm Lily. Lily Sunflower. Are you Native American? Um, no. My people are older than America. But if you must give it a label, call me Indian. No, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean anything by it. It's just that I've never met an Indian before. That's okay. Well, one thing we've got in common. What's that? We're not white. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. <laughs> so, what's your major? Haven't decided yet. So I guess I'll take some liberal arts courses for now. What's wrong? Some of my coaches thought I might be Olympic material. That's great. What's the problem? I love sports, and I'm good at it. But really, I would love to be a special ed teacher. When I was in high school and in junior high, I would volunteer for the Special Olympics. And the encouragement and courage I saw in those kids' faces inspired me more than anything I've ever seen. I mean, the joy and the enthusiasm on their faces. Those are the people I want to surround myself with. I know that sounds crazy. No, I get it. So what's the problem? I have a hard time studying. I'm barely passing. There's no way I can get a master's in teaching. It doesn't matter. What are you talking about? Of course you can do it if you want to. Never heard such nonsense before. But, but then- Don't you butt me, girl. You can do anything. Anything you put your mind to. Don't let anybody tell you any different. I'll help you if you have trouble studying. Really? Do you mean that? Of course I do. Now finish your sandwich before I eat it. <laughs> Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. I'm Jenny, this is Carol. We actually live in the dorm next to you, so I thought we'd come introduce ourselves. I'm Lily, and this is Melody. Hey. Would you like to join us? Yeah, thanks. So what do you think of the school? Eh, it's okay, I guess. <laughs> Same here. Um, are you... I'm Indian. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> um, where are you from? Eagle Butte. So you're Sue? No. I'm Lily. <laughs> yes, Mini Koji Lakota, a.k.a. Sue. That's cool. So what classes are you taking? Liberal arts. Oh, okay. Jenny and I are business majors. Mm. What about you, Melody? I'm here on a Czech scholarship, but I think I'm going to consider a degree in teaching special ed. I think that's great. I really admire special ed teachers because I, for one, could not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> Well, we better go. Our room looks like a tornado hit it. Hey, uh, we'll head back with you, okay, Mel? Okay. Hey. 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 Yay. Yay. So 
how was your vacation? It was great. I went to the reservation with Lily. It was the most amazing experience I've ever had. Really? That's so exciting. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. Well, good, because tomorrow night we're going to Blue Jays. How about it? Guys, no excuses. We have no exams and track is starting in like a week. Come on guys, it'll be fun. Please. All right, all right. But if I smell a hint of trouble, we're out of there. Okay. Can you be ready at seven? Yeah. yeah. What was that? You sent trouble? I don't know. Something doesn't feel right. I don't like being messed with. Especially at some Washichu bar. Yes, Chief. Take it easy. You've been in an accident. Oh my god. Carol. Ginny. <laughs> Melody. I'm taking care of your friends. Hey, Ow. easy, easy. You broke your ribs. We're gonna do some tests and make sure everything's all right, okay? Look. I'm not the enemy here, okay? I'm just trying to help. Doshke uglechehe shluwashlene. I'm sorry, doctor. We just can't know what she's going through right now. Look, I'm just trying to help, all right? Can I ask you a question? If I said no, would it make a difference? No. Then what? How'd you get out of that car? When the man came down, he said the car was flipped over. And when he got to it, it blew up. I don't know. All right, I'll be back. Thank you, doctor. They were surrounded by fire. I discussed this dream with the elders. I was also shown that melody, well, you know. I didn't want to tell you because I know you would have been a nervous wreck. Yeah, just a little. She's going to be going through some changes. The time is coming. Ch changes? Like, what do you mean, changes? Of who she is. It's what Ate has prepared her for. Her destiny here on the res. Those changes. Also in that dream, there was a Skawi Chasha that comes into her life. A white man? Joseph, don't kid. 
Lily's strength is going to increase. Her visions are going to become stronger. She's going to be faced with some very tough decisions. But she knows who she is. Even if she does live in denial. Now, as far as this Dr. Steve goes, I don't know if he's going to be a distraction or if he will encourage her somehow in a good way. Someday, the signs of the great purification will be evident. And once again, all nations can live as one, in love and peace, under our Creator.